everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you've all had a lovely week and are having a lovely sunday morning i thought i would bring you this week's video because my last tropic hacks video has been my most liked um popular viewed video that i have done since i started youtube just over a year ago so last january i started and you obviously love the tropic hacks that i brought you last time and that was last summer that i did that video just sharing top tips ways in which you can use one product for multiple things and i have a lot more of those to share with you so i thought it's time that i did another one and share with you five more of my tropic hacks top tips whatever you want to call them so without further ado let's get into my five tropic hacks so hack number one is involving a very popular product in fact it's recently been out of stock and has more recently come back into stock and it is our body pebbles now these like i say are so popular and for very good reason they are beautiful and they come in so many different scents this one that i've got here is citrus um, which you can't buy now unfortunately um, this is out of a joy drum that i had at christmas but scents that are available now are sweet bellini the original one the ginger and lime one the zesty mojito um, and they're all beautiful. I could not possibly tell you a favourite. I like the Sweet Bellini because it's pink. Um, the, well, the packaging is pink. Um, but they are all just beautiful. And there are several uses for them as well. Now, it is a body pebble. So the original use for it, obviously, is to wash your body. To use it as a body wash when you're in the bath, when you're in the shower, wherever you like to wash your body. Um however so many ladies have used this for other things too now i know this works amazing as a hair wash um, i had a customer of mine once tell me that she was in the shower and she'd left her shampoo over the other side of the bathroom and rather than getting out dripping wet um, she had her body pebble there um, she reached for it and decided to use this and um, you get a really nice lather from the body pebbles so she washed her hair and the next day when she was in work as we worked together um she had a compliment on her hair and she said it felt amazing really soft um really clean and worked beautifully by using the body pebble to wash her hair um you can also use this it's great obviously if you're washing your body with it um it like i said it lathers up really nicely and is great to um, shave your legs with as well if you haven't completely given up on doing that at the moment in lockdown um, then that's a brilliant use for it too if you haven't yet tried the body pebble pouch as well i highly recommend that as that the the body pebbles they do have oats in them which make it a really nice exfoliator for your body as well a really gentle one um, but the bod body pebble pouch you just put this in the pouch and that rate makes a really nice exfoliator as well um, and a real treat and you can hang it um, the pouch it's got a drawstring handle on it and it, you can just hang it really nicely in your shower hack number two is again involving a very popular product one of my favorites it's definitely one of carl's favorites if not carl's favorite tropic product um and that is the so sleepy pillow mist now if you haven't tried the so sleepy pillow mist it is a must on our bedside table in fact um until just recently we ran out of one um so now we just we did have one on each bedside table we're down to one at the moment but i have the roll-on on my side of the bed and then carl has the temple balm on his side of the bed so we are lovers of this product as i know many of you are as well um and obviously this is a pillow mist so you spray two to three pumps of this on your pillow before you go to bed about 30 centimeters away from your pillow and the scents of lavender and chamomile are so relaxing so soothing and are perfect for relaxing you just before you go to bed now you don't only have to use this as a pillow spray it makes an amazing room spray so if you get to an evening um, and you're trying to unwind if you've had a particularly busy day at work working from home whatever your situation is at the moment homeschooling um, 
and you just want to unwind then whether you're having a bath you could spray a, a few pumps of this in the bathroom spray a few pumps of this in um, your living room wherever it is that you want to relax just spray this in the air and it is so relaxing wherever you spray it to be honest another really good one is that i know a lot of people um don't like i mean none of us like wearing them do we a face mask um but obviously it's mandatory wherever we go pretty much now um and i know having that mask over your mouth and nose feels really restricting and it's not very pleasant and a lot of people suffer quite a lot with anxiety from wearing a mask just try spraying a pump of this onto your face mask um and when you go out and if you are a person that suffers um with anxiety or anything or, or gets a bit stressed or just doesn't feel very calm when you have that face mask over your mouth and nose then this the sense again the sense of this are really calming and relaxing so maybe try that and if you do try it then let me know how you get on and if it does help hack number three is keeping your empties so there's a lot of products that tropic do that if you save your empties you can send them back and you can get one for free so this is a rule of five so you have to save five empties to return them and get one for free now these include the aluma the lip glaze the fixing gel mascara the extension fibers the silk gel liners the great barrier sun uh, sun cream, skin shade, sun soothe, sun day, sun stick and body smooth um, and it also includes your luxury bath foam refill pouches not the bottles just the pouches, um, a signature hand wash the refill pouches um, and the kiss me quick lipstick cartridges now with all of those it can be any shade so it doesn't have to be five lush lychee lip um, cartridges it doesn't have to be five black um, fixing gel mascaras it can be a mix of colors shades um, but it has to be five of the same product um, now with the signature hand wash it has to be five signature hand washes it can't be three signature hand wash pouches and two bath foam pouches it has to be five of the same um, so I hope that makes sense just keep five of the same um, product and then let your ambassador know whether that your ambassador is me um, and then let me know if your ambassador is not me then go to your ambassador and ask them to get you the form to send back your empties to get your new one for free so yeah just remember when you order yourself a new one or you come through me to order or your ambassador to, your own ambassador to order then just make sure you keep those empties and i will list all the refill um all the options that i just read out i will put them in the description box below so that you can go there for a guide if you ever forget you can just click on this video and they'll be in the description box as a reminder for you so that's a brilliant one i absolutely love that that they allow you to get something for free after you've used a product because if you're anything like me i have a bag full of kiss me quick lipsticks um i use the fixing gel mascara all the time and i have the hand wash in every single place that there's a sink in my house so that's three places um so it, they quickly build up when you're ordering them all the time so definitely it's worth keeping your empties that brings us nicely onto hack number four as i've been talking about the signature hand wash um, now the signature hand wash is brilliant for cleaning your makeup brushes and this is my hack number four now like with all of our products the hand wash is 100 percent natural and is ph balanced so it keeps your hands super soft and thoroughly clean now if it's good enough for my hands then it's definitely good enough for my makeup brushes and i know that we can forget to clean our makeup brushes and time passes and it's one of those jobs that you just push aside but it's so important to clean them if you're taking such good care of your skin with tropics natural skincare and makeup then you don't want to ruin that by using dirty makeup brushes um, and not cleaning them so i highly recommend this i'll insert the video that i did cleaning them yesterday um, using this so i just put a, a pump or two on my hand i 
swish the makeup brush around in my hand and as you will see the makeup coming out of the brush um, and then I just rinse it with water and I just repeat it until the water is running clear from the makeup brush which means you've got no more makeup within that brush and it is thoroughly clean and honestly it didn't take me very long to do all of my makeup brushes and to have them all sparkly clean. I just laid them out in my bathroom, just left them there for the whole day um, and they were nice and dry this morning when I went to do my makeup and um, I know when I first did this I did worry that that because our makeup brushes are so beautiful and soft I did worry that they might not be as soft or it might deform the bristles and um, it might deform the hairs on them and they wouldn't go back to their former state um, but you don't have to worry about that they go back perfectly they're still as super soft as they were before and you don't lose any hairs from your makeup brushes when you're cleaning them like you don't when you apply when you use them to apply on your face they are just beautiful and yeah make sure you're cleaning them with our signature hand wash because it's super easy super quick and they're good as new now my fifth and final tropic skincare hack is involving the makeup palette now with tropic makeup what i love about it i mean there's so many things that i love about it i've done a few makeup videos now so you know i absolutely adore tropic makeup it's all i use i literally do not use a single other makeup product from any other brand other than tropic um because it's just so good and it's natural it's good for your skin as well as making your skin look flawless and what is what else is great about the makeup is that, that it's so versatile. You don't need to have a full range of the makeup to be able to do a full face. So I have my customized palette here with me. And if I was to go traveling, this is brilliant because you customize it to the products that you use the most, that you're gonna get the most use out of. Um, and if you don't have every product necessarily, like I've done a full face today, I don't have every product that I've used on my face today in my palette. However, it's brilliant because you can use different products for different things on your face if you don't have your full makeup bag with you. For example, the highlighter, not only you can use as a highlighter, so on your cheekbones, down your nose, on your cupid's bow, um, you can also use this as an eyeshadow and it's a really beautiful eyeshadow. Um, I use it on the arch of my brow sometimes, in the corner of my eye and even all over my eyelid and it just makes a beautiful eyeshadow. The blusher you can use again as an eyeshadow obviously as a blusher too um, but if you have the cream blusher you could also put it on your lips to give your um, your lips a bit of um, a rosy tint as well which is really lovely tip um, and then the bronzer I have barley bronze in my palette and so not only to use it as a bronzer but I love to use the bronzer as an eyeshadow and I've actually done it today with the barley bronze bronzer I've used it on my eyes if you can see there it just makes a really beautiful eyeshadow. So I could get a really good face of makeup just from these four products that are in my palette. Other tips with different um, makeup products are um, if you have the brown fixing gel mascara, not only you can use it on your eyelashes, but you can also also use it as a brow um, a brow gel to fix it if you like the brushed up look or however you like your eyebrows just use it as a fixing gel for your eyebrows I've seen the brown silk gel liner not only used as an eyeliner but to use as a bit of an eyeshadow and you can blend it in as well you can use the lipsticks if you've got a nice pinky maybe um, nude blush or peony pop or something like that whatever color you like um, not only to use it as a lipstick but again put it on your cheeks as a bit of blush um so many things that you can use one makeup product for um in so many different ways i'm sure there's others like i said you don't have to spend a fortune on getting all of the makeup range just think of different ways that you can use different makeup products for different areas of your face that is my five tropic skincare hacks part two <laughs> i hope you found this useful i hope there was at least one in there that you didn't already know um let me know in the comments box below which hack is your favorite and which one um or multiple of them that you already know or use 
and any that you think that you will use moving forward and try out. Also, if you have any of your own that I haven't mentioned either in this one or my previous Tropic Hacks video, I will link that video down below as well, then please share them with me because there's so many with our products that I'm sure I don't know them all yet. Um, so I'd love to hear some of the hacks that you have that you find really useful with Tropic skincare products. Thank you everybody if you made it to the end of this video as always I really appreciate it and if you liked it I would love for you to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment and make sure you're subscribed to my channel as I bring a new video every Sunday um, and as always I would love to hear what videos you would like me to bring to you as well. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I look forward to chatting to you all soon. Bye!